Oh my goodness, you said it. Uh, it is a 1970 Barracuda that has been heavily, heavily modified and customized, and we're going to go full tilt pro touring boogie here, JK. Well said, yeah. Kenny Bell supercharged 6.1 liter Hemi. That's 372 cubic inches, by the way. Putting out 610 horsepower. They've gone with that Viper style six speed manual transmission with a pistol mm. grip shifter. Look and at that. Look at the quality of the engine compartment. The paint, the polish, just everything done to a very high pro standard. They've gone with a four link rear suspension with adjustable coilover shocks. Willwood, big disc brakes front and rear, vintage air conditioning. Power windows in there as well. We're at 170,000 and 175 and still climbing. Keep in mind, too, this is a Barracuda, so originally it would have had something less than a 340. Probably was a 318 to begin with. Yeah. Look at that paint as well. Paint Hall of Fame in Houston, baby. Paying some nice homage to performance with the graphic on the rear quarter, Mr. Norms. And the uh, telltale uh, horns there. Really, really cool. Well done. And those are uh, Mr. Norm's trust 20 inch alloy wheels as well, allowing the use of that uh, Mr. Norm logo on there. Of course, Norm Krauss, uh, gone now, never mm. will be forgotten. He was the tip of the spear in Mopar performance in the 1960s. His Chicago based. Absolutely. Grand Spalding. Gra Grand Spalding. I was going to say, it makes me proud to be a fellow Chicagoan, Mr. Norms. I had the pleasure yeah. of meeting him at the uh, Carlisle Chrysler Nats a few years ago before oh, cool. he passed. So let's check that one off my bucket list. Look at this. You were, you were right, John. Oh, yeah. uh, no budget here. $195,000. That takes the top honor at this point on our day today in Houston. Wow. What a car that is. So well put together. And I think they're going to have a little fun with that one.